In this problem, we're going to determine whether this infinite series converges or diverges. So we need to figure out what test to use. Um, so how do you know what test to use? Well, sine x is approximately equal to x when x is close to 0. So sine of 1 over n is approximately equal to 1 over n when 1 over n is close to 0. In other words, when n is big. Right, so the cube is not really going to affect anything. It'll just make it even closer to zero because when you have a number between zero and one and it's being cubed, it makes it even smaller. So it'll also apply if you have a cubed here. So we're going to use uh, limit comparison because uh, these both seem to behave the same when, when n is big. Okay, so let's use limit comparison with one over n. I'm going to erase this. So to use limit comparison, you write down your a sub n. So in this case, this will be our a sub n, so sine cubed of 1 over n. And then you write down your b sub n. So b sub n in this case is just 1 over n. Oh wait, this is positive. If you think about the graph of sine, you know, it looks like this. Um, so we're over here, right? Because uh, these are positive numbers and they're super small. So we're up here. So everything is positive, so everything's okay. You can only use limit comparison when everything is positive. So now we're going to take the limit as n approaches infinity of this over this. So I'm going to write it like this. Sine of 1 over n cubed over 1 over n, okay? And how are we going to take this limit? Well, let's think. So on the bottom, it's going to be 0, right? Because as n approaches infinity, 1 over n approaches 0. Up here, it'll be sine 0 cubed, so 0 cubed, it's also 0. So it's 0 over 0. So you can use L'Hopital's. So L'Hopital says we take a derivative. So taking the derivative here, you bring down the 3. Then you have sine of 1 over n squared times the derivative of the inside. The derivative of sine is cosine, so you get cosine of 1 over n times the derivative of the inside. The derivative of 1 over n is negative 1 over n squared. I have that memorized. You can write it like this and use the power rule. On the bottom, you get the same thing, negative 1 over n squared. Boom, these cancel. Um, so now when we take the limit, we, get, we just take it, right? This would be 3. Sine of 0 is 0, so you get 0 squared, so you get 0. Cosine of 0 is 1. So you just get 0, which is finite and positive. And why am I writing that? Because that's what it means for the limit comparison test to apply. So the limit comparison test, I'll call it LCT, applies. So limit comparison says the following. It says, if you take this limit, okay, and you get an answer that's positive and finite, both series will either converge or they'll both diverge. And the reason it works is, think about it, if you take a limit like this and you get a, a finite answer and it's positive, that means that both of these guys behave the same, they have the same growth rate, right? Like think about just regular limits really quick, I hate to derail, but like if you had 2n squared plus 3 over 5n squared plus 4, these are both quadratics and sure enough when you take this limit you just get 2 over 5, right? And what does that say about these polynomials? Well, they're both quadratics. They both grow at the same rate. So whenever you take the limit here in limit comparison and you get a, 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 a finite and positive number, these both grow at the same rate. That means as a series, they will both converge or they will both diverge. Well, we all know um, 1 over n diverges, right? So since 1 over n uh, is, a, is a divergent p-series, right? It's a p-series. It's called the harmonic series, a divergent p-series with p equals 1 less than or equal to 1. That's, that's why it diverges, right? Remember, it'll converge if p is bigger than 1. Our original series, this one, I'll just say our OG series, OG means original, converges by the limit comparison test. So I just wanted to go through it really, really quickly. Uh, kind of a cool problem, so I hope that helps.